Ciao, I'm Andrea, and today on More Than Spaghetti, we're going to be making one of the absolute delicacies of summertime, squash blossoms. I'll be stuffing them with some creamy, rich goat cheese, and then sauteing them in a pan. So stick around. I'm going to start by making the filling. So I have some fresh, locally produced goat cheese. This kind I know is extra creamy and it's very delicate in flavor. So I am going to use two parts of this goat cheese to one part ricotta. Now if you're using just the regular goat cheese, the kind that comes in the long log, you might want to use a one-to-one -one ratio because you really don't want to overwhelm the delicate flavor of the zucchini blossom. So I will take one tablespoon, two tablespoons, see how much this makes. Well, I'll use three tablespoons. Go ahead and use four of these. Perfect. And then I'll use two of the ricotta. And the ricotta just lightens it up a little bit. It makes the goat cheese less strong and less thick. I was so excited this morning when I went to the farmer's market right down the street from my house and saw these beautiful squash blossoms. I thought, wow, I cannot leave here without buying these. It's one of my favorite things this summertime and I have a hard time finding them. But the farmer's market is definitely the best place. Just give this a good stir and then we'll add a little bit of sea salt, good quality sea salt. A couple big pinches. Want this nice and flavored on the inside. Okay, now I'm just going to add two basil leaves. I'm going to finely shred them. These I just picked out of my garden. And this is a great way to make fine little chiffonades, little shreds of basil, little julienne of basil. Just stack them up and roll them up and then just cut them like this with a knife to fine little chiffonade. There we go. Make sure they're all cut up enough. They look good. And this won't um, give too much flavor to it. It'll still remain really light and delicate, but give it a little bit of that anise sweet flavor that we're looking for. Now, I'm just gonna taste it to make sure I have all the proportions right. Always have to taste. Mmm, delicious, it's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is put this in a Ziploc bag. This will help me pipe it inside the squash blossoms. You'll see, it makes it very easy. So here are our beautiful squash blossoms. I like to preserve them in the refrigerator in the humidity drawers with um, some lightly damp paper towels. Now, we will just take this, snip off the end, and open them up pipe this right inside. And now the last one, just squeeze that cheese mixture into the center. There we go. Sort of get it closed up. And these can be kept just like we did before in the damp, damp paper towels until your guests arrive. So I'm just going to save some of them and I'm gonna cook two up for you right now. So I'm heating up the pan and you want the pan pretty hot, medium high. And I am whipping up an egg. You wanna just lightly coat the delicate flour in the egg wash. And then this is cornstarch. 
And I use cornstarch because it's more delicate and crispy than flour. So we want to keep these really crispy because we're just sauteing them. We're not deep frying them like most people do. Straight to the pan. You want that good sizzle. A little bit of the cheese is going to come out and that's okay, don't worry. Just take them, they look beautiful crispy. Transfer them right to a plate, coated with some paper towels. And now for the best part, it's time to taste. Mmm, nice and crisp. They're perfect. You want to eat them when they're hot. Mmm, very good. Nice and crunchy on the outside and gooey and creamy on the inside. Just what we're looking for. And I'm pairing this with a wine from a really great winemaker, very successful winemaker in Spain, Telmo Rodriguez. He makes wines from really inexpensive everyday drinking wines to very expensive splurge wines. And this is one of the everyday drinking wines. It's a Basa and it's from Rueda. And Telmo is just as nice as he is fantastic at making wine. Mmm, it's nice and crisp and that really cuts through the fried zucchini blossoms. It's a perfect pairing. So, join me next time on More Than Spaghetti. Ciao for now. Salute!